In this video, we're going to look at Newton's second law. Newton's second law tells us that F equals MA. That is false. So F is false. And it equals mass times acceleration. So force is equal to mass times acceleration. We measure force in Newtons. And we just write that as N. One Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So one Newton is the force it would take to accelerate a mass of one kilogram by one meter per second squared. So F equals MA and we measure force in Newtons. An example of a force is weight. So weight is equal to mass times g, acceleration due to gravity. So weight is a force, which is mass times acceleration due to gravity. So let's look at using these two formulas. So find the weight of a particle with mass 6 kilograms. So W equals mg, a mass 6 kilograms, so W equals 6g. So W equals 6g and newtons. We can always leave an answer in terms of g. If you wanted to um, substitute in, g would be 9.8 meters per second squared. So acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So you could substitute that in and get a weight in Newtons. Find the force required, question two, to accelerate a particle of mass 200 kilograms by two meters per second squared. So F equals MA. Find the force required to accelerate a particle of mass 200 kilograms by 2 meters per second squared. So F equals 200 times 2. So the force is 400 newtons. Find the acceleration when a resultant force of 100 newtons is applied to a particle of mass 20 kilograms. So F equals MA. We've got a resultant force of 100 newtons and that equals 20 mass times A. So divide both sides by 20. A is 5 meters per second squared. Okay, here we've got a question where we're going to be using F equals MA. So F equals MA. Now F is the resultant force. So if we've got our particle accelerating up at 5 meters per second squared, F is going to be the forces up, take away the forces down. So 10 minus the weight, which is mg. And that equals ma, which is m times 5. So 5m. Five five Okay, so if we plus mg to both sides, that's 5m plus mg equals 10. We could substitute in g as 9.8, or we could leave our answer in terms of g. Either one of those is absolutely fine. I'm going to leave my answer in terms of g. So I'm going to factorize out the m. So 5 plus g. So m equals 10 over 5 plus g, and it's mass, well, kilograms. We already knew that. If you wanted to substitute in, so 10 over 5 plus 9.8, you would get 0 0.68, 0 0.68 kilograms to two significant figures.
Okay, here's another question. So we've got find the value of x this time. So the same sort of situation. We're going to use f equals ma. f is the resultant force. So force is going up minus force is going down. And that equals to mass, which is 5, times acceleration, which is 2. So 5 times 2, 10. So x equals 10 plus 5g newtons. So x equals 10 plus 5g newtons. If you wanted to get a decimal answer, 10 plus 5 times 9.8 is 59 newtons but either of those is okay okay one more so pause the video give it a go and press play when you're ready to go through the answer okay so we've got f equals m a so f is the resultant force so force is going up 30 minus force is going down 2g and that equals ma which is 2a so we want to find a so if we divide both sides by 2 a is 15 minus g and that's in meters per second squared or if we substitute it in g as 9.8 we get a as 5.2 meters per second squared. Both of those are correct.